Hello, my name is Jeremy Poritz, and this is Lab 2, Part 2, for the AI course, uh, or, yeah, course, Game 3001. Um, my student ID is 101-367-286. I am going to be going over this document here to show off my code. Um, and yeah, so let's get started. First requirement is to ensure that Lab 2, um, there's a Lab 2 in the master repo, which is right here. And as you can see, you can click on it and go into history and see all the commits. You can also go to settings, see collaborators, and then we see Alex and Tom. So, Let's get to the code. Um, I believe the first requirement is to remove all the previous AI, or UI, not AI, uh, from the scene, uh, which was done in the last lab. Uh, but as you can see, there's nothing in the scene here. Um, So yeah, uh, second, now this wasn't in the instructions, in the list version, this here. Um, I did end up adding it myself just to make sure I met the requirements. So, uh, go back to the code, if I scroll all the way to the bottom, I added a slider here, uh, not that one, this this one, no, not that one. Here, position ship. Uh, I added this after, and um, as you can see, when I press play, I open it up, I can change the ship position, it's gonna change the X, and when it spawns, it's gonna be wherever the X was. Yay. Yay. Yeah. Um, moving on. Uh, the target game object has been declared properly, so we can see target here, and that's just using the built-in uh, target class. So here's target.h, and here's target.cpp. Um, go back to play scene. Here, uh, go here. And uh, making the starship game object. Um, so here is my starship.h, has all the variables and functions, getters and setters. And then in here is all the, all the um, initialized variables and all the functions themselves. Uh, as you can see, there's the desired velocity, seek look where you're going, and move functions. We'll go back, and seek behavior was created without flaw, which, yep, I'll open up my, or I'll launch the code again in a sec. Um, that works too. Look where you're going works. Um, that's there, and also get current, current heading is there as well to make the ship look where it's going as well as the IM GUI controls for starting seek and max speed, turn rate, acceleration for the player, all of that works too. So I'll press play now. And when I press uh, tilde, the IM GUI window comes up. So toggle debug uh, activates the hitbox uh, markers. So I'll keep that on for now. Um, this slider moves the target itself, so if I want, I'll put the target down here. This slider will change the max speed, as you can see it says max speed. This one changes the acceleration, I'll make it a bit lower for now. And this one changes the turn rate, uh, so how fast it turns. And the ship can be positioned with this, which I showed just earlier. So I'll try and get it in the top right, and when you toggle seek, 
it will go yeah. over there. It also makes a sound effect for a collision. So, um, although, pretty sure that's supposed to be in here. Uh, not sure why it's not, but anyways, it is in uh, this one. So, load sound for collision. Yeah. Uh, there also is a button to restart the seek. So or reset everything. Yeah. That just resets everything in its default position. You can move them back. Uh, Yay. But yeah. Yay. I believe that's everything I had to cover. Um, and thank you.